Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Richard. I'm here with my good friend. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm Albert, Albert Escobedo. Uh, I do stand-up comedy here in Korea. I also teach English from time to time. Uh, hanging out with this guy, longtime friend. You're gonna have some fun tonight, see how this goes. Try to make some, some uh, clever comments. That's the goal. Good goal. We're gonna be doing some K-pop fashion. Steph has captured some very recent photos from October 2013 of K-pop stars. I have not seen these photos. Have you seen these photos? I have not seen the photos. I'm excited to see the photos. I'm sure you're really excited. Yeah, man, I, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Number one is 21. I dig the, the simple Adidas, the leg uh, corset, that's kind of sexy, I like that, that's hot. I can get in on that, they're all wearing Adidas. When they got the black, pink, black, pink. Oh, there's a little pattern, pattern going, going on in there. Yeah, you know, it's simple, it's simple, it's hip hop, it's casual, it's comfortable, it's cool, it's cute. I like her hair. You like that? You yeah. like that 80s punk rocker sticking up? It's like Cindy like, Lauper style. It does look like that. It looks like, uh, what's her name from uh, Sex and the City? Sarah Jessica Parker from the movie uh, Never, or, uh, uh, the Flight of the Navigator. Flight of the Navigator! Flight of the Navigator. That's what she looks like. Archives. Yeah, man. You know, born in the 80s. 80s babies. Next we have BTS. <laughs> Must be after Easter, or is it before Easter? Don't wear white. I don't know, but I like his yeah. Nikes. These? Yeah, this is that. These. That's a. This is throwback to the '80s again. This is what the high is, tops. The way that they wanted to dress in the '80s and sport the big fat uh, shoelaces. Right, and look, he's got the LL Cool J big fat golden chain going on. He's got the the fedora, but like the Kangol, like fuck, like just like LL Cool J. Man, they are doing that. It's almost like they do like rock scissor paper to see who's gonna wear the gold chain, cause you know they all want it. They all want. It. They all wanted to be in the middle too. How did that guy win? Rock scissor paper. We got Tiara. I don't know. This outfits are pretty simple. Let's see. We got the uh, the leather jacket. That's 80s. We're back in the 80s. But they're not doing the straight 80s. Like you see a lot of women these days wearing like the high shorts. Yep. Where yep. it's like low cut on the on the thigh, but, but high on the up, waist. Right. Super 80s. They're not doing that. And she sort of looks more like a Thelma and Louise style to me. Yeah, I like that too. She's like got she's the hair She's ready to just like the glasses. She's chilling. Go rob a convenience store. Right. She's Ooh. the leader of this. Look at that. Yeah, Sitting on the bumper of the Jeep. She's got it under control. The rest of the girls are you just know, they're in the backdrop. To, they're just trying she's, to look cool. She's actually in the foreground too. Boots. Boots are cool. They're just waiting for the leader to make a move. Or maybe they're out of gas. Next up, we got a photo of EXO here. Let's open that up. Shiny suits. This is very Korea. This is very Ajashi. How many of there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's twelve guys. This is like a funeral. That's what's going on here. It's classic to have a black suit, black tie. I mean, that's cool. Tennis shoes, black shoes. Yeah, it's not too bad. Which one of these guys has the most fashionable hairstyle to you? I think this guy here with the Sonic the Hedgehog look going on. <laughs> I'm kind of digging the natural look. He looks the most like what I'm used to seeing on the daily streets. Yeah, he looks like a normal guy. You don't see them walking around with red hair. No. And half these guys got red hair like it's normal. You don't see that. No. Girls' generation. <laughs> Now how they come keep some of better looking? They do, yeah. Well, <laughs> do you think so? Plastic surgery. You never get old. You never get old in Korea. They got the whole like ballerina. Uh, no, it's like figure skating. That's what they look like. Figure skaters. I don't know, man. I can't complain about these girls. They got the legs. The legs are popping. But I like the outfit. The short skirts. You're talking tight. Like all, all this outfit tells me that I can't wait for you to turn around. That's what I'm seeing here. I just can't wait for you to turn around and bend over because that's. Kind of what they don't want. say that. Come on, we gotta like nice. It's just a thought. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. That's the point. I don't want them to actually do it. I like the thought. You know, I want to be the bad guy. Next up, we got Infinite. Ooh, they're out in the streets. <laughs> you think that's a real street or a backdrop? That looks like a Hollywood studio. It does. It looks like a 1950s New York City or something like that. These two guys on the left are looking hardcore though. What yeah, they're, they're staring us down. And then the one in the center is he's more like uh, He looks like he's wearing a jetpack, like he's about to take off. There's a lot of buckles on their hands <laughs> and spikes on the gloves. Like, I don't know what's good. Oh, look at all these belts. This guy's wearing one, two, three, four belts that go up his torso. This guy's wearing like a shield. They, I think they're about to make an Asian version of Game of Thrones. That's what I think's gonna happen here. Modern day. Modern Game day. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones with Asian guys. Alright, we got Psy. <laughs> That kimchi's going straight to your arms, man. <laughs> you ever seen that uh, that TV commercial with the guy with the money signs on his vest and he's selling you his book of how to make money without the government? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sai looks like he's trying to sell YouTube videos. That's that's what pants he's wearing. He's a superstar, gold star. He can do whatever he wants. 
The fact that he can do whatever he wants and he chose to do this is what disturbs me. I like those shoes though. Shoes are looking good. Those are Michael Jackson's. <laughs> those are the Michael Jackson's. Stole away from Michael Jackson. Well, he's dead. Can I say that? <laughs> you know this group, we got Shiny. The guy in the middle, first of all, with the all plaid, like he got ran over by a car full of golfing clothes or something. <laughs> this whole thing is the worst style on any of these photos. Yeah, this one's horrible. This is really, this is thrift store joking. They're clowns, that's what they are. All they're missing is rubber noses. Next, four minutes. Can she I got Miami that? Dolphins on, look at that. Oh, that is pretty cool. And what is she? I wonder if she even knows who Miami Dolphins are. This is like, uh, I don't know, 80s. We're back in the 80s. We're back in the 80s again, but this is not 80s. This is no, more like uh, This is a curtain. So that's it. That's our review of K-pop fashion from October 2013. Peep this guy's YouTube channel. You got a YouTube channel, right? Yeah, I have a YouTube channel. Uh, Albert Escobedo. Just search Albert Escobedo comedy. You'll find it. Do this when you're doing it. Yep, and also check out the annotation for the video that we made together in Korea with Jake Patchett from Jong Mnet. Yeah, Jake, Jake's a good friend of ours. You know, we made a really funny video before. You guys check it out, you'll like it. Everybody likes it, it's good. It's great, it's grand, it's terrific. All right. Like this video, give it a thumbs up if you thought uh, we had anything good to say about K-pop fashion. And subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. See ya. Goodbye. I hope you feel us. Feel me. She looks like she was born in the 80s, which she was not. But, you know, maybe that's what Korea's going for, that retro throwback to the 80s, because Korea didn't experience the 80s like we did. It's sort and of like K-pop is the 80s all, like, done all over in Asia, again. right? You're right, they're, doing, they're, they're a couple years behind, but, you know, this in the 80s, Adidas were cool. You're talking about Adidas, you're talking about Chuck Taylors, you're talking about high, spiky hair, and then they mix it up with some backwards caps and some hoodies, and they make it, you know, now hip-hop style modern. Uh, I like it. Adidas never went like out of style. No, Adidas is cool. Adidas is a classic. I like this style. They, they kept it simple. The crazy hair I can deal with. Uh, the rest of them. Dude, she's got the Cindy Lauper look going, man. I dig it. I dig it. Personally, I think that they. This is normal. I I would go out with them.